I think we can finally call this a vintage camera now. Maybe we can just accept the fact that it's a vintage camera. Come with me. Ooh, okay, so guys, welcome back to the channel. This camera was released in 2007, which is quite some time now. But today we're just going to dial into the specifications. A little bit of not too much specification, just a little bit. And then more of advantages and disadvantages. So yes, this camera does 10 megapixel. Actually, it does 10.1 megapixel, but I don't think we can add the one into our video. So let's just take the one out. Let's stick to 10. 10 megapixel in 2007, uh, I think it was a huge deal by then. The next thing that our list is it uses a CF card. And no, I mean, the CF card are normally faster than the usual SD cards. So this camera got tens of ports. It's got the flashlight port and it allows you to sync, I mean, flashlights and all that in the studio, especially for people who own bigger production and all that. So it's got some nice production ports here for serious photographers. I mean, it's it, it's really got the professional looks. It's got the belt quality. It, when you're holding it, it actually feels like you're holding the 5D series, but based on the specification and today's standard, I'm really not going to recommend this camera. Um, let's be real. I picked this camera up in South Africa for about 600 rand, which is crazy. 600 rand, I'm not even sure how much it is in dollars. Let me just check this out. $40 guys <laughs> Man, that's crazy. So this camera was actually purchased for $40. So just bear in mind I got just the body no lenses I mean nothing attached no charger nothing and I purposely bought it due to the review that I need to make to you guys So so far I've dialed into the camera I've, I've done a few presses here and there and I'm really not gonna say that if you are into serious photography You should pick this camera up in today's standard I really recommend you looking at maybe somewhere a bit advanced, probably the 6D Mark One, the ATDs. That would pretty much do the job than this one. It still got autofocus. I think it's got nine points autofocus or so, which it does the job well when I paired it with uh, my trusty 50 millimeter. So overall, it all depends on the type of lenses that you use with this camera. It got a few bells and whistles here and there. I'm not gonna say it's a beast of a camera or it's a huge deal or it's something that's, I mean, it can currently beat most of our DSLRs in the market. I'm not gonna say that because this camera also got some huge disadvantages. And I think without wasting my time, let's just head into the disadvantages. So the first thing on the list, the SD card slot, yes. I know you are expecting this. So yes, this camera only takes one memory card, okay? And that is the CF. It does not have any secondary slot for a second card. And I think most of the cameras these days also got this very same problem. So I think it's something that Canon have been doing for a while. Up until the 5D series, I think those are the ones that started using the two slots. I think from the 5D Mark II. But that's not a topic for today. So the next thing that I'll list here will have to be the flip up screen. Um, I'm not gonna say this flip up screen would be an advantage way back and even now because this camera does not shoot any video and I'll get there very soon. So yes, it doesn't have any flip up screen. So if you are planning to do, I mean, selfie shot or head talking shot like what I'm currently doing, maybe you should just use your phone. That would be much better. It does not support any mode of video, nothing. You don't, nothing. So if you are willing to buy this for videos, I think you should look elsewhere. This camera will be best for a beginner, I mean, photographer, someone who is starting up, someone who wants to get into the photography game, but does not have enough money to spend on cameras. I think this will really help the person in many ways because it's actually got the pro body features and the looks alone feels like you're holding some crazy DSLR. I mean, you guys do know. If you hold this camera and you hold the 5Ds, I think you can hardly tell a huge difference from this and the 5Ds. But yeah, I mean, overall, it's not a new camera by any means, so we can't bring our hopes up. We can't expect much. I wouldn't personally budget and say that I want to buy this camera for personal use or any professional use. Maybe I can just buy it for it to lie in the wardrobe or a B camera when I'm out there and I run out of power or anything happens to the A camera. 
probably I can I can work with this. But it all depends. I think it all depends on the type of glass that you use with the camera. If you got some nice lenses, I believe you're really going to get some nice crazy photos, regardless of the 10 megapixel. Especially with the nifty 50s, the 70 to 200, trust me, you'll get some crazy footages. So yeah, overall, it's not a camera that I would personally suggest or advise you to buy in today's standard. I would rather recommend you to buy much recent models like the M50, the 6Ds, 80Ds, a whole lot. Or maybe just check in the Nikon lineups and I believe you'll get something way better out of this. I'm not saying it's a bad camera, but I, all I'm saying is it's got people that I think it's dedicated for currently. So yeah, if you want to pick this camera up, you don't have much money, um, upcoming photographer, this is the best camera you ever want. But if you want to get into videography, sorry, there's nothing for you here. This camera is a bit old, I mean, hence the price. So <laughs> I think after the review, I'll be selling it. I will, I, will, I will definitely let it go. I was thinking of giving it away, but I wouldn't actually give this to my subscriber because I mean, it's an old camera. If ever I wanna give a camera out there, that will be after I hit a 1K subscribers. I will definitely do a giveaway, a serious giveaway. So if you are new on the channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button. You never know, you could be the one winning my giveaway.